So this lecture right now is a little bit of a lecture to level the playing field, to make sure we all understand what we mean when we say aspect ratio. Whether you call this aspect ratio, layout, dimensions, by the end of this lecture, you're gonna understand exactly what we mean when we're talking about the video format, the aspect ratio, whether we're talking about vertical, horizontal, landscape, portrait, 916, 69, you're gonna understand that by the end of the video, including some other things like four, five, and one, one, and different social medias, these aspect ratios are perfect for. So let me explain to you the two main types of video format aspect ratio that are in existence right now. And these have changed since the growth of different social media platforms and who knows what there's gonna be in the future. There is 16.9, think about that as landscape, traditional video, much like this one you see here, and the one you're filming now. Called 16.9 because it is 16 across by nine high. 16.9. Now this is the primary video type for YouTube long form content, although they of course are YouTube shorts, but YouTube is the main social media which still uses 16.9. This is the same we used to have, think about watching in the movies, they were this shape, watching on TV, watching in your phone in landscape mode, they all use 16.9. Now you can post to Facebook also in 16.9, but depending on where someone is viewing it, either as a post or they've clicked to expand, they might see that in a different format. But we'll get to that shortly. So the two main, the first one, 16.9. Nine. Now the complete opposite of that and probably the number one way content is viewed right now because of a video on social media on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and now even YouTube with shorts that's growing like crazy, the exact opposite, 916 because it's nine across by 16 high. This might get referred to as vertical, portrait, 916, that's exactly what we mean by that. Think of someone with their phone watching this way, scrolling through social medias. If we ever say 916, vertical, portrait, that's exactly what we mean. Now you would shoot this way if you wanna put content onto Instagram, Instagram Reels, think about scrolling through Instagram Reels, all shot vertical, or perhaps YouTube Shorts also, TikTok, Facebook Reels, they're all shooting vertical. Now we're gonna show you later in this course how you can shoot one short, I'm gonna do that for YouTube, and then repurpose this for Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook Reels too. But that's vertical. So to summarize so far, we've got the traditional format aspect ratio, 16, nine, which you're gonna see mostly on YouTube. Also, you can post a Facebook like this, but I'll talk about that in a moment. And then there is nine, 16, vertical. These will be everything from the reels from Instagram, TikTok, Facebook reels, and YouTube shorts. Now there's also something called one one square format and four five just off square format. Now if somebody is watching a video on Instagram Reel for example, but they view that same video you've shot in nine sixteen as a post, what Instagram does is it crops it to four five. So you'll lose whatever's at the top or the bottom. Meaning when we shoot this and we do that in the production section, you make sure you put no important details at the top or the bottom, because if your viewer is viewing this as a post, Facebook, Instagram, etc., they're gonna lose what's at the top or the bottom if they don't click to expand the video. Also on YouTube Shorts, much the same practice is needed, don't put anything at the top or the bottom, because what they do, although you view Shorts in their entirety, they don't crop it, what you're going to have at the bottom is your channel, title and channel name that's gonna come across the bottom, meaning if any information is down here at the bottom, you're gonna lose that too because it's gonna be covered by YouTube. So there are some best practices there. That's why it was quite popular to shoot Facebook videos in a one-one square format because if anybody was looking on posts or anywhere, they get your whole shot, you know what's needed. You don't have to, but that perhaps is a best practice. So to not overcomplicate things, oh my gosh, and this, how should I how should I shoot this? One one four five nine sixteen sixty nine. If you're shooting for YouTube in a traditional video format and want to make longer videos, presenting like this or a vlog or whatever, you would shoot that sixteen nine. If you want to do real type content, R E E L, real type content for shorts, Instagram, Facebook Reels, TikTok, that of course will be vertical. To shoot those. 9, 16, and make sure you put nothing at the top and the bottom, and it's gonna be okay for all platforms. I know some people do repurpose 
traditional 16.9 videos into vertical, but sometimes you can find that the shots are really close up and zoomed in. It's probably best to film these separately or film for both platforms while you're out, for both aspect ratios while you're out. Do two shots, one this way, one this way. Anyway, don't overcomplicate it. You're either shooting landscape or vertical. That's it. Put nothing at the top or the bottom, remember. Now regarding videos, of course, if you're doing a traditional YouTube video, 16, nine, it's best to have these at least eight minutes and two seconds in length so that you can get adverts put in the middle. And yes, you may not be monetized now, but eventually you will be and YouTube will be putting ads in there. It's best to have that because you can put ads in the middle. If ads are in the middle, it means you can make more money, but most importantly in your growth stage, YouTube can make more money. They can show more adverts if they can place mid-roll ads. They're more inclined to give you impressions. They wanna make money after all. Now the ideal video length, like I mentioned, above eight minutes. In some niches, this is where your research came in. You may want a 15 minute, 20 minute video, depending what your research tells you. Now for shorts, YouTube and the vertical format, 916, shorts, YouTube allows 60 seconds. Only do 58 or 59 because on upload, sometimes they add a second. 60 seconds is allowed for YouTube. Now on Instagram and Facebook Reels, you're allowed 90 seconds. But if you're creating a video to repurpose, do a 60 second version for YouTube and just do 60 seconds for Instagram and Facebook. It's probably best practice and to not to overcomplicate it for yourself. TikTok can allow from one minute up to 10 minutes, but the 10 minute allowance may depend on your geography, your account, your profile, etc., etc. Not everyone has access right now. But to keep this simple, shoot all your vertical ones one minute vertical 69 put nothing at the top and the bottom and then your videos for youtube if you're doing a traditional style make sure the length is dictated by your research for what your audience want simple so that was aspect ratio so we're all on the same level playing field going into the next section because you're going to think about if you are shooting vertical content you're probably going to want to use your phone because you're already shooting like that if you have a camera like a dslr like i'm shooting now and putting that on the side having a tripod on the side and trying to hold that etc it's going to be slightly more complicated so think about if you're making real only vertical content what you'll need to shoot there or if you're shooting traditional style content the different cameras that allow for that or you could shoot landscape and crop it in. If your shot's wide enough, then you'll need a wide enough shot. Julian's gonna get into this on cameras shortly. I'm gonna talk about phones next, which is obviously gonna be your primary, for most people watching this, your primary camera type because it allows for ease. Some of you will wanna edit inside app for Instagram and TikTok and we get into that. I show you how to edit on an editing bit of software like Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, etc., And then you can put those onto the app by uploading from your gallery. I'm gonna show you that. It all depends on what your need is and we cover all of it. So go through and decide how you're gonna shoot this. Okay, that was aspect ratio. I hope you fully understand that. Rewatch it again if you need to uh, get to grips with the different platforms and what's needed, but it can be fairly simple. You're either shooting 16.9 or 9.16. Don't put anything in the top or bottom in verticals. That's it. All right, let's get into the next one. I'm gonna talk about using your mobile phone, your cell phone for filming and the benefits, pros and cons, and should you, shouldn't you, do you need more? Let's get in and talk about phones. 